Hi, I'm John Rowland with Holland Park Lapidary, and today we're in our Philippine factory, and I'm going to show you a little bit about four drills and talk about three forming for spheres. Now, what we, what we do typically when we're drilling a rock, we're going to take the piece and we'll throw it in, this is a piece of blue lace agate, and we'll throw it in uh, plaster Paris. And that gives us a flat base so we don't have to cut it or anything. And then we'll set it up and we usually, when we have the rock out, we'll mark it for what size bit we want to do. Uh, and then we'll grab that bit, set it up, and uh, we'll put it in the drill. And basically, we're gonna drill a core out of that rock. Now we come down first and we're going to get down just above the rock and get in position so that we're not touching, not spinning it, um, and then put our splash guard in. Now the VFD up top, that's a variable frequency drive. That's how we control our RPM and then the flow control that Jojo is turning right now, that is controlling the feed rate. So it's air over oil hydraulics, uses a little tiny compressor like this. And it puts pressure on the hydraulic fluid that's in these cylinders, uh, in, in, in this case in that left hand cylinder, which is pushing the, pushing the ram, well actually it's in the right hand cylinder because we're pushing the ram down, we're controlling the flow out of the cylinder until we are engaged with the rock. And, uh, and then we'll come over here. And you hear we're starting to make contact. Now this is a linear transducer and uh, basically it's, it's set up with a transducer on the other side of the machine. And this shows us in millimeters our movement down. So we can see cutting a millimeter probably every 10 seconds, something like that, 15 seconds. Now what we do is we touch the drill bit to the bottom of the table before we start drilling, and that's zero, so we know as we're counting down how close to the bottom we're getting, so we don't drill too far because we don't want to drill into our table. going to do in the same sizes so we're not changing our jigs a lot and we'll drill a whole batch of them so then when we come into the machine we're doing 20 or 30 or 50 or 100 spheres at a time depending on what the material is and what the size is that we're doing. All right so we finished our drill and it took about five or six minutes for this one and that's our core. Now we are a little bit off center on this which isn't a big deal it'll grind in really fast but that's, that's drilling a hard agate. Uh, if, you, if you put this in a saw and you preformed it into a cube, that's equivalent of eight cuts that we did in one cut in five minutes. So the huge time saver. So from here, what we do is we cross drill this piece. So in this machine here, we got a cross drill jig, and this piece has already been drilled uh, two times, this is the third drill, and we're going to have to move our hand now. And basically, in this drill, what we're doing is we're taking the piece and we're producing a preform that looks like this. 
Now, if you look, if this is the first drill, second, third, fourth, uh, no, third is too much. This is That's four drills. We, on, on some of, let's see, it's easier to see on some of these. This is a big, really nice Miramama Tiger Eye. That's a five, that's a five drill. Five drill, maybe that's five two. It's, it's a little harder to look at when you see it uh, because you're drilling the, the main core, then you're cross drilling the main core and you get a pillow shape. And then from the pillow shape, you drill the corners with uh, three more cuts. But it makes, and then our hand grinding, we do a little hand grinding here, and then we go into the machine for uh, rough grinding.